Welcome or welcome back. My name is Emily Webster and welcome to a week in my life. Oh my goodness, if that sounded weird and you know, uh, that's because that's the first time I'm checking in as Mrs. Webster. I just recently got married about a week and two days ago on Saturday, March 9th. So whenever you see this, it'll probably be two weeks out. But anyhow, I just got married and it is our first day back from spring break. So all of the things to be excited about. I had a sub for two days before spring break, so I have no idea what I'm walking into. So this is going to be real and raw when we walk into my classroom. We'll see if they left it in tip-top working order because I left when there was open house happening. I left when there was half day happening. So who knows what happened and who knows what kind of sub report I have. Also, Lucky Leprechaun is starting this week. And um, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like Secret Santa, but we do it in March instead. So for an entire week, you have a Lucky Leprechaun and you have to give little like goodies to whoever your Lucky Leprechaun is. And then at the end of the week, they reveal themselves to you. And it's so much fun. So I'm super po pumped about that. I have a few thank you cards that I need to write. My team was so amazing. Um, um, and came to my wedding and we had a couple other teachers come and just like really bless us in a lot of different ways like catering and just like freebies that they threw in so I want to make sure that I can bless them and honor them with all of that so anyhow I'm so excited what I'm not excited about is how dark it is right now like I feel like it should just be turning six o'clock and it's not um, don't get me wrong I'm so thankful that we got to adjust to the time change over spring break but Oh, it's not fun coming to school when it's like this. It's going to be a great day. I will say caveat, I have my student observer today, so I know I won't check in during like any point during the day. We'll check in after school and um, I also have him all day tomorrow. So, you know, but we're going to, we're going to do the darn thing because I told myself now that the wedding is over, I have the energy to actually devote to YouTube. I'm going to do it. And we're gonna we're gonna succeed we're going to succeed so anyhow we're at school i'm running late let's go see what my room looks like because i'm a little nervous about what it's gonna look like so anyhow let's get inside okay so encouraging news the sub report that i got was emily the kids were great you have a precious class your wedding was amazing so that's all i got uh but it looks like they did the work that they were supposed to. Um, let me show you how I set for a sub. I'm pretty sure a lot of primary educators set up this way, but it's the best way that I know how to set up for a sub. Um, but the cleanup afterwards is a lot. So anyway, hold on. Okay, so I always, it didn't look like this. Like everything was just like out on the table. Um, and then I had like sticky notes for everything. So it looks like they did what they were supposed to. <laughs> Maybe not everything got done. Also, there's an ant on my table, so that's not good. Yeah, so looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, and on my door, I had this cute shamrock, <laughs> this cute poster. And then on my desk, I had this. So that's so fun. Anything, anything like confetti themed I'm in love with, um, with these little like shot glasses. And I'm pretty sure it says get ready or get the party started. So that's fun. Now I have to do my lucky leprechaun thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who is she checking in after school? I don't remember the last time I actually remembered to do this inside my classroom. Let's address the elephant in the room. These need to go. The hundredth day of school was like eons ago. <laughs> so we need to get rid of those and find something new to put up there. But it was definitely, definitely, definitely the Monday after spring break. Like I was telling my coworkers, I, I know unpopular opinion here. But I think I would rather teach that nine weeks after winter break twice than have to do the spring semester or spring like nine weeks because when it's cold and dreary outside, like I don't care that I'm inside, but when it's so nice and beautiful, like I just want to be outside all day long. When I worked at the all boys school, I used to do class outside. Like it was nothing for me to do math stations outside like regularly here we don't really have picnic tables outside for us to be able to do that on so that's why i have it anyhow today we started a brand new unit in reading about like different world cultures we watched a get curious video if you're familiar with hmh you'll know what that looks like for reading we also did small groups for reading we love small groups my student observer did something during our intervention time with some word problems so that was a good time 
Then for writing, I had had it in the plans to do our research project, but we're actually ahead on that. So I went ahead and did grammar and uh, cursive writing. So we worked on cursive Y, uppercase and lowercase, and then we did contractions during grammar and that took us most of our time. And then in math, we started our financial literacy unit. So we watched a Berenstein Bears video about spending and saving and how brother and sister bear saved their money in their piggy bank because they wanted to get these jackets. Just, it was really cute. So I loved that. Then we did some word problems about like, um, it's like compound interest for kids, but like in a very simple way of like, if you add $5 to your piggy bank every single week, how much are you going to have in six weeks? We did that. They did some math programs. It was kind of an easy day. We kind of soft start into the week. Um, I did not pull math small groups. And then in science, we watched in animal, not animal adaptations, like animals in groups. It was a Generation Genius video, and that was really hard for the kids. Um, honestly, it was kind of hard for me because I didn't pay very much attention to the video. <laughs> Oops. So it was kind of hard to get all the things. But we did all that, and I wish that I would have shown you these things beforehand because I don't have any of the exemplars of it so anyway it's a good day they were wild I am exhausted like I know I'm tired because people ask me they're like are you tired miss person and I'm very tired and also this was so fun my students just got a real big kick out of calling me Mrs. Webster so that was fun but I don't think I fully accepted it like I've been miss person for 29 years yeah so when I answered the phone today I said person's room <laughs> but anyway here we are it's gonna be a good day. I'm trying to think of like what I can do. I'm babysitting tonight. I have to leave in like 40 minutes. I was gonna go home and take a nap, but if I realized if I did that, I was gonna be way too tired and not wanna get up and go babysit. So I decided to just stay here instead, but I'm trying to think of like what I could do to set, me, set myself up for success for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna make my morning slide ahead of time. That'll set me up for success. And I also kinda of like need to tidy up around the room yeah so anyway i am tired i know tomorrow is going to be brutal when it comes time to wake up so i'm not looking forward to that but yeah and now that like i don't have wedding planning to do i just kind of like don't know what to do with my time like my brain is not occupied with anything so i've been rambling for four minutes <laughs> i'm proud of myself for checking in um i may or may not check in when i get to babysitting who knows but yeah so anyway, um, I'll see you at some point. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I was going to just not check in, but I didn't check in yesterday. So hello, happy end of the day on Wednesday. And it's twofold why I wanted to check in. One, I'm currently at Target because I need to get my last two days of Lucky Leprechaun stuff and also get some things for dinner. Also, today I got to wear my Mrs. Webster t-shirt with the wedding date on the sleeve. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm so excited about it. Um, so anyhow, I'm at Target. I'm gonna get stuff for dinner. We're going to have waffles and fruit. And I'm actually, I'm like craving chicken and waffles. So I'm gonna get some frozen chicken strips <laughs> and have chicken and waffles. And I think it's gonna be so fun. And I think we're gonna watch in and out tonight. And I'm so excited. So it's been so fun being newlyweds and like just getting to like, I don't know, date each other all over again. I don't know if that sounds weird. Anyhow, it was a great day. Yesterday on another level, they were like to the moon and we had to have a come to like, Jesus meeting with each other and we were like hey or not we I said to them this can either be the best nine weeks that you've ever had or it can be the worst <laughs> and the choice is yours I said for me it's really no different I said I have to be here anyway um, and printing packets is not something I want to do but it makes my life easier so we can either have fun in this last nine weeks or we can make it really hard so today perfect beautiful little angels I loved getting to hang out with them I love hanging out with them but like spring is always so hard and I always feel like after spring break they start showing May like behaviors if you know you know like over it anyhow I'm so grateful that today was a good day they were on their very best behavior someone just pulled in next to me and we're just gonna roll with it so anyway I'm at Target I'm gonna get all the things that I need for Lucky Leprechaun all the things they need for dinner and then maybe something for lunch I don't actually know so anyhow um I wanted to make sure that I checked in also you saw that we were doing a money activity I searched high and low for this activity because last year we did it and we loved it and I spent the entire like 
15 minute rotation searching for this activity. But basically what it is, is it's like a little shopping cart. They get a little card and it gives them an amount. And I differentiated it by some groups only had to make it one way. Some groups made it two ways and other groups made it as many ways as they could. So counting that. And then we talked about withdrawals and deposits um, and how when you're depositing money, you're adding money. When you're withdrawing money, you're taking it out. So you're subtracting. In reading, we read a book called Where Is My Bagel? It was actually such a cute story and st I pre-read it, okay? I pre-read the story. And I had my students catching in on things that like I didn't catch when I read it the first time. So I was like, man, you guys are so smart. And we talked about how like this time of year is so fun because we get to apply all of the like reading skills that we've learned over the, you know, last year. Good morning, happy Thursday. The vibes are very different today because it's spring picture day. And I always feel like this happens, but it rains on picture day. <laughs> so it's raining, not always the best vibes, but I wore like, I call this my everything dress. This is my first day of school dress. I usually wear it with like a t-shirt over the top or I like, you know, having this, but um, typically there's a t-shirt over the top. This is my first day of school dress. This is my Easter dress. This is my uh, spring picture dress because I just love the colors. It's so fun. It's one of my favorites. I get to wear my fun earrings with it. So Anyhow, but it is spring picture day and it's rainy and dreary, which is just not, not the vibe we're going for. So I hope everybody shows up on time today. We all have to be at school like early, early to take a staff picture. So I gotta get there pretty quick. Uh, last night, my husband and I, that sounds so weird to say, my husband and I had a little date night at home. We made chicken and waffles at home and then we watched Inside Out and just had a really good time. I love watching Pixar movies like a lot. I think they're so much fun. Uh, I, this is one of my all time favorite Pixar movies, first of all, so excited for the second one. But also I learn things each time that I watch it. Like I've seen this one a lot and this one, I just learned things the second time. I don't know if it's because I'm processing emotions of my own while I'm watching it this time around. So it was just so nice and so sweet that we got to, you know, hang out and have a little date night together. So, Today, I will check in at school. I'll have the capacity to be able to do that. You know, this has been a long week back since spring break. So um, anyhow, looking forward to a good day. There's nothing extra that needs to go on. And yeah, but we gotta get to school, set up our lucky leprechaun stuff and go take a staff picture. So let's get to school and have a phenomenal day. thankful it's the end of the day and I feel like this is the first time that I've checked in like in the classroom this week but that's okay so it was quite the day it was picture day I feel like we should do one of those like you know this is me before picture day this is me after picture day if you're a primary educator you know that like there are more crazy days than there are normal days but we did have some wins today picture day went really really well I had them like picking all of these poses which took a long time and my teammates wised up and they had them like pick two poses but 
that's neither here nor there. Anyway, we survived picture day, which is great. For reading, we read the story. Um, we reread the story, Where Is My Bagel? Tomorrow, we're going to take a quiz about Where Is My Bagel? And then they're going to do a short response question about why the setting is important. And this is a really good story to do that with because if you're not familiar with the story, this um, boy wants a bagel, but he lives in Korea and he lives in a time like send messages by carrier pigeon. <laughs> and so he sends a message by pigeon and this pigeon cannot bring a bagel back in time. So that's why the setting is important. Then they have to infer why the setting is important. So that'll be a good short response question we'll do tomorrow. We also talked about theme and why it's important to use teamwork and um, go after things even if they seem like they're really hard or impossible. In writing, we have been working on these animal reports and this is like one of my all-time favorite projects that we do in second grade. So let me just show you. Um, like it's just so good. And in my classroom, I think I've said this before, but if I haven't, we talk a lot about if uh, or what's the difference between ordinary and extraordinary and my class will say just a little extra and so that's what she did right here is she had just a little extra around the sides and I'm just so proud of that so it looks so good we did in about the author page today I don't know why these are all like this but we did in about the author page today we're gonna work on the glossary page and the cover page and the table of contents tomorrow, but these just look so good. I'm so proud. So anyway, that's what we worked on in writing. And then in grammar, we've been talking about contraction. In math, we did, we've been in our financial literacy unit. So we've been talking about spending and saving, um, a deposit and a withdrawal. And then today we talked about borrowing and lending and they took some Google quizzes on that and they did pretty well. So I'm very impressed with that. This is always a tricky unit, especially in second grade, but like it's such good stuff. <laughs> so I know that they need to use it. Not took up most of our time. And then in social studies, we it's more financial literacy. So it was like goods and services and like producers versus consumers. And then we jumped ahead to tomorrow's lesson where we were going to read the book, Alexander, Who Was Rich Last Sunday, I think is what it's called. And you notice the importance of saving your money. And we will do an activity with that. I actually have that. Um, unlimited, unlimited wants, limited resources. And so we're going to listen to the story and every time he spends money we're going to find the amount and we're going to color the coins so um, I think it'll actually be good that we already pre-read it so anyway there is that I need to oh and then the spending and saving activity I accidentally did this in math we were supposed to do it in social studies but I think it counts as a math and a social studies grade so it works anyway there's that I need to desperately 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 do reading lesson plans so I think I'm gonna go home and watch Survivor and do my lesson plans I did the writing plans today while they were working on their animal reports <clears throat> and I really <laughs> enjoyed that that was nice they were working I was working it was great I don't do that often but I do do it when like they're like I know they can work independently and they'll come to me if they need me and of course I'm going to stop what I'm doing and help them with what they need but it was just something that I really needed to get done and I was going to get stressed if it didn't get done so yeah there's that oh and a funny story about that so in my classroom here's like a little bonus tip in my classroom if a student needs to know how to spell something the system that we have is they come to me with a sticky note and they come to me with a pencil and they'll say how do you spell such and such and depending on the word I will have them try to sound it out or we'll spell it out together or if it's a word like metamorphosis obviously I'm going to write it on a piece of paper but if it's a word like said I'm going to say hey that sounds like a high frequency word that we've used a lot can you try to get yourself started on that and so they will but anyhow the point of that is I had a girl come up to me and I've been called a lot of things not that are not my name but this one instead of saying hey miss person or hey mommy she goes hey Alexa I mean hey miss person can you spell this for me and I thought it was so funny because that's the first time that that's ever happened um you know I'm used to getting called mom or miss person or teacher but 
hey alexa was a new one i've been talking for five minutes kind of like rapid fire about our day tomorrow's friday and i cannot wait to have um they have it be friday i'm really excited so anyhow oh and we had indoor recess today because it was raining like we thought we could go outside and the minute i had them stack their chairs i noticed that the concrete was like starting to get dark and i was like it's raining isn't it and sure enough it was raining so we had to have indoor recess and those are like not my favorite days but we did do a directed draw it's my cute this is my example of my bunny inside of a donut and i thought it was so fun so anyway there's all of that i'm gonna go watch survivor and write lesson plans and probably eat a snack so yeah anyway thanks for listening i will see you when we get home There's something to be said for, I checked in Monday, Thursday, Friday. That's three days in the morning. <laughs> um, I've at least picked up the camera every day except for Tuesday because Tuesday was just a really rough one. But anyway, happy Fry, yay. You saw me give a coffee cheers earlier, but you know, I'm gonna give another one because it's Friday and we need all the caffeine that we can get in my It Takes the Big Heart to Teach Little Minds mug. Unpopular opinion, I love teacher mugs. <laughs> I, my husband will say like, I just love sharing that I'm a teacher and I do. I wholeheartedly do. Today, Friday, normal schedule, nothing wonky today. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. We do have a lot to get done though. Our animal report needs to get done. It has to like, mm, we gotta get that cranked out. So we're probably gonna start that a little bit earlier than we normally would for writing so that way they have ample amount of time to finish it. We need to do, um, we need to finish up our financial literacy unit. We need to take a pretest in math. We, what else do we need to do? In reading, we need to take a quiz that we didn't take yesterday. Yeah, we need to get set for a new week. And then tonight is gonna be kind of a weird night for me. So I tutor from four to five and then I babysit from seven to eight. So that same babysitting gig that I did on Monday I am doing again or not Monday on Tuesday I'm doing again tonight so it's gonna be a long 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 day uh like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long one but extra cash is nice and also I've been like toying with the idea of doing tutoring this summer so if you've ever done that before let me know so last summer was my first summer where I did do a side tutoring gig and I did it for one child one day a week and I got paid a pretty good amount because I set my price based off of the fact that I'm on summer vacation, you're, it's basically overtime for me. I'm driving to you. Like I set my price and I feel like I did a good job setting my price. Anyhow, if you like know how to get tutoring clients over the summer, let me know because I would love to do that this summer and just start saving up because I like wholeheartedly, my next goal now that we're married is to get a home. Like that's all I want is to have a home. So I think we need to get to school <laughs> and then I can check in when we get there. Oh, and we need to do our final lucky leprechaun thing. And I do this in a fun way where I write like on a sticky note or on an index card and like, here are three hints to who I am. It's your job to figure out who it is. So let's go ahead and get to school so we can get all of those things done. Okay, so we've made it to school. I'm um, just jamming out to some worship music. 10 out of 10 recommend if you are... Just, I mean, driving to school in general, but I mean, like on those days where you're feeling extra anxious, those like listening to worship music puts me in a real good mood. We got to get inside, do Lucky Leprechaun um, and do our morning slide. But Fridays are easy because it's pizza day. So the lunch choices are easy peasy lemon squeezy. And yeah, just make sure that the room is in working condition for when students come in. So let's go get it done. Okay. Hello. Happy 
way, way, way after school. It is 6.09 in the PM. Yes, you heard me correctly. So I, after school, um, went to go talk to our coaches about um, my student observer just to get some ideas on some different things. Uh, and that took up like 45 minutes of my time. And then I had to go tutor after school. And a funny story about tutoring. So I actually, yeah, you can totally see that. So you can see how that looks like I chopped off a chunk of my hair. Um, that's because I was cutting and helping my friend cut out everything she needed to get cut. And I had the paper. I don't even know if I could like reenact it but she was asking me something and I had the scissors in my hand and I just hit click because I thought that I had the paper in my hands and then I looked down and my hair is like falling out onto my lap so I had cut a chunk out of my hair while I was tutoring today so there's that I was wanting to do like a post-wedding chop anyhow like I don't know like up to my shoulders um I just might <laughs> I just might so anyway yeah that was wild um, couldn't believe that I did that and like it I don't know if you look at it just right like you can definitely tell but anyhow also I feel like my hair desperately needs a trim anyway he didn't come out here to listen to me chat about my hair so I'm back I came back to school one because I left all my lights on and two I needed to get all my stuff I went to Kroger to get some dinner real quick I got some sushi and now I'm back and like I have no motivation. Like I thought I was going to have the motivation to get stuff done and I just don't. Um, and I'm babysitting at seven. That's also why I came back to school. So it's a very long, long day. And then tomorrow I'm babysitting. So lots of babysitting going on in my world um, and lots of tutoring. But, you know, it's good. We're kind of recouping some of what we paid for the wedding. So Anyway, it was a good day. I'm um, very proud of them. I'm thankful we didn't have indoor recess today. We got to go outside. And it was one of those weird, like, days where it was cloudy when we went out there. And then, like, it was sunny by the end of the day. So, you know, there's that. Um, or, I guess, cloudy when we went out there and then sunny by the end of recess. Um, we did finish. Most of us finished. Not all of us. Most of us finished our animal reports. And I have to say that they turned out so stinking cute hold on like this one holy schmoly like jaguars cute as can be love it love it we love to see it this tiger one he worked so hard on this illustration like oh my gosh wow like i'm so impressed um so we got those done it definitely took us like i almost want to say an hour and a half to get almost all of these done and they worked so hard on them but I was like we have been working on this for almost a month like we cannot you know dedicate any more time to this activity than we already have um and then in math we took this must have been the week for me to like be off on everything because we were supposed to do a worksheet today and I did actually no we were not even supposed to do a worksheet we were supposed to do a pre-test in aware and I took the post test in aware um which they did really really well so I think I'm going to count it as a grade anyhow because they need the grades and I don't want to get behind on grades so anyway um I couldn't believe that I did that and then in Matt no in science, no. In social studies, we reread Alexander, who was rich last Sunday, and they did the activity where they color the amounts, and that was like a good listening activity. So um, we're going to take it as a social studies grade. And then in reading, we took a quiz. It's a very quiz heavy day over where is my bagel? And we definitely struggled with the why is the setting important in this story. And so. Mm, I sent a few friends back when I read their short response and was like, that is not answering the question. They were like, because it makes it more interesting. Well, that setting is helpful for that, but why is it helpful in this story in particular? And if you remember from yesterday, it was the where on earth is my bagel and the boy lives in South Korea and he wants a New York bagel, but he lives in a time where messages are sent by carrier pigeon and the carrier pigeon cannot bring it back in a timely manner for it to be fresh. So Anyway, that's why it was important. If he lived in New York, he could just go get himself a bagel. But since he's in Korea, he has to be creative to get what he wants. So anyway, it's a cute story. I suggest you read it. 
all in all, it was a really good day. This is a really good week, all things considered. It was just a really long week. Um, and this is probably, I don't want to like jinx it, but um, it's probably one of the best classes I've ever had. They're such a sweet bunch. Um, and so their behaviors aren't super awful. Like I put them in check, but I'm hearing for some other teachers and their behaviors are bad. Like they're really bad. <laughs> so I'm just trying to embrace the calm. We can make it, right? Um, we can make it nine weeks. Because technically the last nine weeks is like 10 weeks. So that really stinks. But we can make it nine weeks. We are on the countdown. Nine weeks until summer. Crazy, right? So that's 45 days. 45 days until summer. We can make it 45 days, guys. We can make it 45 days. Um, anyhow, yeah. I don't quite know if I'm going to film any more after this. Um, this was, I mean, this was a pretty good attempt at a vlog this week. I won't lie. It was a pretty good attempt. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Maybe I'll record a little babysitting. Who knows? But if I don't, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share so that way other teachers just like you can find and keep the joy in teaching too. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.